Good morning. I'm making this video for Tina, but I might use it for some of my coach training. So I'm just very quickly making a video about Google Drive. And as you can see, I am not the most tech savvy person in the world. I am holding my phone in front of my computer because I don't want to screen share this. So I'm going to click on my Rachel Hunt Gmail and sign in. Now for most people, when they sign into their Google, they end up in their Gmail account because that's where they were last and they don't even know about Drive. So I'm gonna show you what your screen might look like when you sign into Google. You're gonna be over here in your Gmail account, probably, most likely. If you have Gmail and you use it, then your screen might look something like this when you sign in. If you go over to the top right-hand corner, you'll see this box full of little squares. Click on it and you'll see all this other stuff come up that you have access to. So go ahead and click on Drive. Now you may or may not have anything in your Drive depending on how long you've had your Gmail account and if you've ever used Drive and if anyone else has tried to send you anything to your Drive. So if you're new to Drive, what I would like you to do first is click on Shared With Me and just see, has anyone been trying to send you things to your Google Drive that you didn't know about? This is all your shared with me docs. So anytime somebody sends something to you, it ends up in your shared with me. My drive is all the stuff that you've created. That's here, okay? And as you can see, it's, it, this is really messy. Like it's not organized right now because I just very lazily uploaded stuff and didn't organize them into my nice neat folders over here. But you can have folders, okay? And I have different folders, like I have my art teacher folder for lesson plans, my Beachbody folder, which I'll show you in a second. Beachbody pics, all these pictures, they should be in that uh, folder, but uh, I just haven't gotten to that yet. And then I had an assistant at one time, so that's stuff for her. And this is my English teacher folder, so I have lesson plans and, um, assignments in there. Okay, so I'm going to click on Beachbody so I can show you. You can have folders within folders and I'll teach you how to do that in just a second. So I have a challenge group folder which is separate from my Facebook coaching group folder and then down here I have a clean eating challenge group post which I can I could make a folder for that if I wanted. A coaching sneak peek document with all my coaching sneak peek posts some videos um, that I just haven't uploaded to YouTube yet, and then a lifting guide that I give out to new customers who ask for it. So let's say you're brand new to Drive and you wanna make a folder that you can start putting documents in. You're gonna go to New, New Folder, or you could create your document first and then put it in a folder, but either way. So let's say I'm gonna make a new folder it's gonna ask me what I wanna name my folder. You might name it like coaching, okay? So let's say you're gonna name it coaching, create. There it is, see how easy that is? And then if you wanna change the color of your little folder, um, let's see, how do I? You just, I just um, right clicked on it and I can change the color of my folder. So I can have them in different colors to keep them organized. So coaching, I don't know why, I usually think of it as either green or blue. Do you? I think that's because our Beachbody website's blue. So I'm gonna make it blue. Ta-da! Okay, so now I have a nice pretty blue folder and I can just drag this stuff up there. See how that disappeared? Boom, All I'm just, I'm just clicking and dragging and it's going in my folder. So if I double click on my folder, there's my files. My drive coaching, there it is. Let's say I want to, let's go back to my drive for a second. Um, I'm gonna show you how to, how, how did I even get these pictures into my drive in the first place? Like, yeah, okay, we can organize them, but how'd they get there? So if you go to new, okay, you can, you can do anything. You can upload a folder, you can, you can upload a file. So let's say you have something on your computer that you've been using forever. You can upload it into your drive. And really the advantage of that is you don't need to carry your computer everywhere with you in order to have access to it. If it's in drive, you can access drive from anywhere, any device really, and um, you have access to it. 
you can make a document which is pretty much like Word. The real difference here is with Word, you have to save it, right, all the time and you have to save it before you exit. Google Drive, you don't. It's, um, it's online, so it automatically saves it for you. Um, so you don't have to worry about it. Google Sheets, same thing. It's pretty much Excel, but you don't have to save anything and it's not on your computer, it's in your drive. Google Slides is kind of like PowerPoint. And over here you have more options. So let's say you want to upload a picture. You just go to upload file. Oh my gosh, look at all. I'm not very organized when it comes to my computer. Let's say I want to upload this little black dress. Let's see, what's that? Upload it. It's uploading. It's telling me in the corner. There it is. So now when I, let's see, open with, nope, I just want to go back. It should be down here. There it is. See it? There it is. So it's pretty easy to upload stuff from your computer to your drive. Really super simple. Like these are Word documents, right? They, um, I just uploaded them from my computer or I could create a new document right here in my drive by going to Google Docs. Okay, really simple stuff you guys. And did I show you how to create a folder? Yeah, I did. We'd created the coaching folder. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm gonna show you really quickly how to share a document with somebody. So let's say I wanna share something from Beachbody with a fellow coach. So I'm gonna click on my clean eating challenge and I'm gonna send it to my good friend, Tina. Oh, <laughs> there's nothing, oh, there it is. I'm like, there's nothing on here. Where are the posts? Or am I waiting for them to pop up? Okay, Tina, I'm not sure why it says post one, two, three, four at the top and then I never organized it. But here's some recipes that I'm gonna send to you, okay? So I'm gonna go over here where it says share. Share. So I just enter Tina's email and I'll do that in a second because I don't want the whole world to know her email. But Alex, I can use your email, right? You don't care. Go for it. I'm gonna send this to Alex. And usually every time I send something, and you can add a little note. Hi, Alex. Here's my clean eating challenge. Okay. I'm going to send it to him as can view, usually. Because can edit, let's say you're sending it as can edit. You're sending one document that is shared. So every time Alex decides he wants to edit something or say like, hey guys, it's Alex. It's gonna change in my document as well. And I might not even notice because I'm just copying and pasting things into my challenge group, right? Because I don't wanna read it every single day. So I don't wanna send it as can edit. If I send it as can edit, I'm sending one document that he has the right to edit. If you send it as can view, then he cannot touch my document. My document always stays the same. If he wants to edit it, he has to make a copy of it and edit his own version. So always go over here and send as can view. And you can change it later. If you sent something as can edit and you wanna change your mind, you can change it. Okay, um, so that is sharing. So it's shared, it already went to him. Instant, boom, done. He has access to that. I'm gonna go back really quickly and let's see, how do I, do I have more than one window open? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go back really quickly and I'm gonna show you um, how to make a copy of something. So let's say somebody sent you something, it would be in your shared drive. It's very important. It's not gonna pop up in your My Drive and you're gonna be like, where is that thing Rachel sent me? She said she sent it to me. You need to go over to shared with me. Okay, so let's say I wanna make a, um, a copy of this. Challenge group posts. Somebody sent it to me, but they only sent it to me as can view. So I can't like click on it and edit it. Just go to file, make a copy. Boom. Google uh, Drive, it's like, it seems like it's super complicated, right? And people who haven't used it are always like, oh, I don't know, like I don't know how to use it. Once you start playing around with it, I promise it's easy. Look, look at me. I'm not tech savvy at all. I'm holding my phone in front of my computer because I don't want to screen share. Because why? Because then I'd have to look up how to do that and I don't want to. <laughs> so if I can do this, 
Literally anybody can do it. See all these windows I have open? I don't know if that's just a my computer thing or if your drive is gonna be like that too, but every time I go somewhere else and drive, it makes a new window. I don't know why. I think that might just be my computer thing. So that's how you use Google Drive. And I hope that you have found this helpful. So one more time, real quick, go to the dots in the corner, go to Drive, you'll be in your drive. You might not have anything in there yet um, if you're new, but you might wanna see if anyone has tried sharing anything with you, okay? All right, you guys, have a good day. Bye.